Hey guys, I'm Jim, I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminor AI and I'm playing around with templates. I've had a number of questions from folks about templates over the last few weeks. I thought I'd do a video about kind of how I'm using them, some of the benefits, kind of how they work, creating your own, saving your own, that sort of thing. So let me just hop into it. I'm in a demo files folder that I keep on my desktop and I've got a photo here and it's kind of dark, it needs some work and this is not a full editing job. This is just an example of how I'm gonna use templates. But notice I skipped over the templates tab. I'm gonna build my own in this video. So I'm gonna start with Enhance AI and I'm just gonna make some adjustments to the photo. Nothing uh, particular, just kind of bopping around here and making some adjustments so that I can show you kind of how I'm using these templates and the idea of templates to kind of help me adjust my photos. I'm going to add a little bit of structure, maybe take the vibrance up, maybe take the saturation of that yellow down a little bit. And I think I'm going to go back over here to light and maybe bump the exposure just a tiny bit as well. So there you go. Let's say I've got a fully edited photo, which I don't, but let's pretend that I do and that I'm happy with it. Down at the very bottom, you see that it automatically creates a My Template each time you're creating an edit. So this is how you create a template. You just come down here and then you click those three dots and it says save and so i've now saved that template you'll notice it says my template edit 2 that's because it defaults to the name my template and so i've already got a my template and then i've got a my template edit 1 and this is my template edit 2 so let me just show you that if you go to templates you can come over here and if you click on this star so if you go to the templates tab it defaults to showing you the built-in templates but this star is my collection and my templates is here so here's my template edit 2 I've got edit one, my template edit, things like that. Just different things I've been kind of playing around with. But now that I've got that, here's how I use the templates. I'm gonna go back to the catalog and you can see I've got a couple of other photos from here. So I've got this photo taken to the same place at the same time, slightly different exposure. I'm gonna click on templates and go over here and just add my template edit to it. And there you go, it pops all those changes onto the photo. Now, here's the thing. I find that photo to photo, even taken at the same place at the same time, because I tend to fiddle with my settings in between exposures, it's never gonna be exactly perfect. I like that, but there's a couple things I could do. So I'm gonna come in here to edit and maybe pull those highlights down a little bit more and maybe pull that exposure down slightly. So even though I use a template, it, it's not necessarily a one size fits all for every single photo, but it does give you the ability to go in and more quickly edit your shots because after I applied that template, I made a couple of minor adjustments, but I'm really done with that photo. And I've got another shot from that scene as well, which is right here. So I'm gonna click on that, go to templates and click on my template edit two. And there you go, brightened up that photo quite a bit and that looks pretty nice. Now, every one of these photos, there's a couple of spots in the sky, need to be straightened. I'm not getting into all of that, but what I wanted to do is show you how I can use templates to make adjustments to my photo. And if I'm shooting the same scene, multiple different views, different settings, things like that, I might use templates to help me more quickly get through the editing. Even if I have to go in and customize, like I would go in and customize this one a little bit, but I've got the base edit done, and I would go in and maybe adjust the highlights a little bit, maybe add a vignette, I don't know. The point is, templates can help you very quickly get your editing done and move on to the next photo. Now that I've done that, I've got this photo, and this is a like a blue hour shot. So I might want it to be a little bit more blue, maybe a little bit brighter, a little bit of contrast, up the shadows a little bit, maybe a little bit of accent AI as well. This one could use some golden hour to really kind of pop those warmer lights that are in the photo. And it may be a little bit of structure and a little bit of vibrance as well. So again, just a quick edit, but there's my before and my after. Now I'm gonna save this template and click save. And as you'll see, now it's my template edit three. That's because I already have a, a one and a two and that sort of thing. But as I go back to my catalog, I've got another shot from that same street in London and I wanna basically take that template and apply it to this photo. So I'm gonna highlight the photo that I want, go to templates and click on my template edit three. And there you go, it stuck it on there. And frankly, that one looks great. I think the only thing I would do here is just crop the photo, but I think that's fantastic. There's the before and there's the after. So even if it's not the exact same scene, but taken in similar conditions, I might come in here and rename this one, which is a big thing I think is well worth doing in templates, is rename them so you know what they're called. And this one I might call Blue Hour London because that's what these two photos were. This one that I used on Scottney Castle, I think I will just rename that to Scottney Castle so that when I'm in editing my photos for Scottney Castle, I can go in and grab a template, stick them on there and make some headway pretty quickly. Now there's another thing I do with them as well. Let me show you that. Okay, so I took a series of iPhone shots of myself in the backyard, just kind of playing around just to show you some examples. 
Here's a face light and let's say slim face. I could use some of that and let's say skin. I want to do a little skin smoothing and remove shine. Again, just kind of hacking away, but if you look at the before and the after, you can see the edit has been applied. We're gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna click save. Notice that now it's my template edit two and not four or five because I renamed the other ones. So I'm gonna go back to the catalog and I've got a series of photos here. So maybe I'll take that one and I'll go to templates and I'll go to my template edit two, click on that and it applies those edits immediately. So once again, if I say before and after, you can see the impact that it's had on the photo. Now here's the other thing I might do. I might come in and take this one and then highlight all these other photos. And here's the other cool thing you can do is just say image adjustments, sync adjustments. And that basically allows you to take the adjustments from this first photo and stick them on all the others. Now that's not using a template, that is just using the sync function, but I think that goes well with templates because you can either sync across a whole lot, which is a, actually faster than going in and applying the template each time. So it saves you a little bit more time. But regardless, I did the template here because I wanted to save those edits for future reference. So I might come in and find a photo of myself later, or let's say a photo of somebody else. Here's a photo of a gentleman. I might come in here and go to templates, click on my template edit too and make those adjustments to this photo. This is just a shot from Unsplash. I'll put a link to that artist down below. And so here's another shot from London, also taken at Blue Hour, completely different part of town than those other ones. And if I go stick my Blue Hour London template on there, you can see that that's really popped that photo. And so that's one of the things I'm enjoying about templates. As you can see, I've also come in and taken various templates that are built into Luminar and made edits to them, which is something else I recommend experimenting with because I'm finding there are a number of templates that I really like and enjoy using, and I might use them again and again. And so I've come in and made some edits to them so they kind of fit my style or my look or my preferences and then I save them and you can see that they're just edited versions of templates that have come in or come with Luminar. And the last thing that I've done here is legacy templates. You may recall that Luminar 4 and Luminar 3 looks and presets will come over when you load Luminar AI for the first time, assuming that they're installed in Luminar 4 when you do that. These are my presets from a couple of different preset packs that I've had that I had in Luminar 4, and they came over, and in this case, I've actually taken this preset and made some adjustments to it, and here you go, now I've applied that to this photo. I kind of like that as well. So there's a lot of variability, a lot of fun you can have. I'm gonna go back to the blue hour look. I kind of like that one. The point is templates are powerful, flexible. They give you a lot of options for editing your photos and also frankly for speeding up your workflow because I think a, a lot of what Luminar AI is about is how do you quickly get results and move on to editing the next photo. I'm personally a photographer that enjoys sitting here and kind of hacking around with the software, but I know a lot of people want to edit their photos and kind of move on, and I think templates serve that purpose quite well. So this was kind of an overview of how I'm using templates. I hope it gives you some ideas, and I do appreciate you watching, my friends. Take care of yourselves out there. Have fun editing. I'll see you in the next video, and adios.